Welcome back to Virtual Reality. My name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo the EVR. Today we will play Half-Life Alyx on the HTC Vive Pro together with the old Vive ones. I'm curious if that will work because the button alignment is totally different than the index controllers. You can find everything about VR and AR on this channel. Thanks to my sponsors, Woodghost VR, Over Money Events, Nursing Skills, Andy DeFelser VR Ambassador and Alpha Blend Interactive. Let's have some fun with the video and let's go! Okay guys, welcome to Half-Life Alyx. This time I connected the HTC Vive Pro, but I did not connect the index controllers, but the Vive ones. Just to show you the, if it works with the Vive ones. So let's first talk about the graphics. You can see in the background, it's perfect. It looks really good. We have an OLED display with the Vive Pro, also with the old Vive, and it looks sharp and it runs perfect smooth. Really, really good. Then the controls. This is of course very different to the index controllers. We have two trackpads here and completely other buttons. So I will show you how that works. I will show you the standard settings. If you want to change the, the uh, button alignment and stuff, go to Steam VR and then change the settings there for this game, the controller settings, but this is the standard. So. Normally, if you want to, is there, is there a magazine here? Ah, I, I will put it on the ground. Normally, if with the index controller, so if you want to pick up this magazine here, then you point to it and push trigger and pull it to you, then hit grab button. But if you hit the grip button, then the menu opens. So here we can go to the menu with the grip button on the left controller. If you want to pick it up, just point to it, pull the trigger, pull it to you and pull the trigger again. Then you have the magazine in your hand, you can insert it to this um, weapon and then pull this slider <laughs> and, and it works. Um, so this is everything you need to know for that. And for the right controller, you can use left and right for snap turn here. Look at this. And of course you can push up on the trackpad and then change the weapons to the yeah to the pistol shotgun and multi-tool and yeah if you want to aim with both hands it's just the same it works very very good if you push the trackpad down you can teleport around here so this is not a problem so if you want to um, release the magazine from the weapon just pull the trigger button that's it Oh, sorry, <laughs> that's the same mistake again. Just put the trigger and then this, this works. It's, it's fine. Yeah, and now guys, I think this is everything you need to know. It works very, very good. Also with the, with the Vive controllers and the HTC Vive Pro, you can play Half-Life Alex without a problem. So let's go back to the studio and talk about it. Half-Life Alex on the Vive Pro. So let's first talk about how it was with the headset itself. Let's not talk about the controllers. So my experience with the Vive Pro was really awesome, to be honest. Um, from all the headsets that I tried, the picture was the best with the Vive Pro, that I can tell you. Um, and this is because the um, the HTC Vive Pro has this OLED display and I mean the Quest also has an OLED display. I showed that to you. But there's this little compression and in the background uh, you see a little bit muddy uh, or, or pixels or something like that. A uh, little bit compression. And But with the Vive Pro it's perfect. It looks dark. It's it's sharp and it was ultra smooth with my PC. It was the smoothest, smoothest experience from all the headsets I tried, the Vive Pro, and this is really good. But, you know, I'm a big friend of big field of view and the Vive Pro has a very small field of view. So this kills the immersion for me a little bit. I mean, you have the best picture, but uh, not a good field of view. That's why I uh, like to play with the Index or the Pimax headset. And however, it works great on the Vive Pro. 
When we now talk about the controllers, <clears throat> you can of course connect the index controllers to the Vive or Vive Pro or even the Cosmos with the face plate uh, with the um, lighthouse tracking plate and then it, it's a good, very good experience like with the Valve Index um, when you connect the index controllers. But you can also connect the old Vive controllers of course to the Vive the Vive Pro, Vive Pro i, Vive Cosmos with the plate and then the experience loses a little bit of immersion because the controllers are not made for Half-Life Alyx, these big Vive controllers. So for example if you want to pull something with your gravity gloves, you hit the trigger, pull it to you and you have to push, push the trigger again, this kills the immersion. So if, you, if I want to to, to catch something here, it flies here and I want to grab it and not hit the trigger, that doesn't make sense for me. So this kills the immersion, the button alignment and the big trackpads. It's, it's not, you, you notice, you will see that Half-Life Alex is not in first line made for the Vive controllers. That's true, but if you have the Vive controllers and you cannot afford the index controllers or they are not available or whatever, it's fine. You can play Half-Life Alex with the Vive controllers. It works. You can play it very good. It's not the best experience. It's not a 100% uh, um, good or immersion, but you can play it. That's what I wanted to tell you. <laughs> if you like to buy all this stuff, check the links in the description below. For now, it's hard to get VR headset because of the crisis, but I cannot change that. I'm sorry for that. Just check out if it's available. So guys, if you want to support my work, if you want to spread VR, support me via Patreon or YouTube membership from one buck per month, you will get behind the scenes videos. That would be awesome. Also, I want you to give me a thumbs up. If you like the video and subscribe to my channel, you can find everything here about VR as you can see. And I wish you a lot of fun with Half-Life Alex on the Vive headsets and the Vive controllers. See you next time in virtual reality, guys. See ya. Voodoo.